tripped him up on his own, stayed on top. Whoa, beautiful kick. I think firstly, a lot of non-Thai audience have a wrong concept of how a Muay Thai fight is being judged. They think it is about doing spectacular techniques or doing techniques that score, but it's not about that. Throwing an elbow. Wow, he can't keep that mouthpiece in. He's so tired. And that could be because all the other global sports that they are used to, the concept of the scoring is different than the concept of Muay Thai scoring. Like say soccer, um, basketball, rugby, it's very clear one point or if you have who have more points or how to score a goal. All these are very clear, obvious ways. No downward pressure equals no try. A lot of non-Thai audience, they have the impression that Muay Thai is being scored according to technique. So like uh, sweeps and throws score more followed by kicks, followed by knees, followed by punch, followed by elbow. That is the biggest misconception. The concept of Muay Thai is different in a sense that it is based on narrative, effectiveness and control. Not based on oh, who did more techniques, who did more effective techniques, who were more effective for more rounds, or who had control of more rounds means who won. It's not like that. ขอส่งมอบหน้าที่ให้กับผู้บรรยายคู่ต่อไปครับมอบหน้าที่ให้กับผู้บรรยายคู่ต่อไปครับมอบหน้าที่ให้กับผู้บรรยายคู่ต่
เอาเดี๋ยวไปปามจะออกทางไหนทางไหนนี่แหละครับทูพยูมวยมันมันสุกให้ท่านได้ชมมวยสนุกมวยมันมันอย่างนี้นะครับเสนาคุณวิรัตหนุ่มโบ๊ทนะท่านเด็ดหมดยกสุดท้าย When I use this word narrative, I'm trying to get non-Thai audience to zoom out because they are too too focused. So you should look at it as a whole fight. ไปไหนไปที่แดงนะครับไปที่แดงนะครับไก่ป่าพอวิเศษยิมเป็นฝ่ายชนะแสนสุด A lot of people focus on the wrong thing as well. They focus on whether the technique was good, whether the kick was good or the punch was good, but it's not a, a contest of who executed the better technique. It's a contest of who managed to have more effect on their opponent. <coughs> What did the kick do to his opponent? What did the punch do to his opponent? That is what the judges are looking for. <laughs> If you knock your opponent out, obviously that's the very very effective thing to do. เอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเอาเ
So it means that he was ineffective because he failed to stop what you want to try to do. When a fighter is in control, it means that he is the one that is dictating his opponent to fight in a certain way. So he could be controlling the tempo of the game. ดูครับพอผิดแล้วโดนทุกทีครับออกซ้ายวืดโดนซ้ายคืนทุกทีครับลําตัวมาทิศเอาแล้วครับชุดนี้พอหลังแตะเชือกเด้งเชือกปุ
this is kind of what the analogy some people use in relation to Muay Thai and chess. I can be giving away a lot of pieces, let you eat all my pieces, but to set up the final play. So round one, two, and three, it could look like that. Wow, the opponent of the knee fighter is the one that is winning because he's doing all these things. But actually, the knee fighter is the one that's dictating. He is the one that's letting the guy do all the, all the thing to do so that he can execute his strategy. So some people might misunderstand and think that, oh, but hey, one round one, two, and three, the guy did more. He won three rounds. Why was the fight awarded to the knee fighter? But it's not like that. It's not about who did more for the most round or who was more effective for the, for the most round. It's being judged as one whole game, one whole fight, one whole match, and not like five different games and who won more, most games.